my friends, welcome to this third video about the blocked kitchen sink. I'm wearing here for the first time my t-shirt which has on it the name of the village where the production studio of the channel is. And you find me in front a very nice little collection of old objects. And of course we won't forget the emotion I had when I found this piece perfectly com complementing the others on a flea market which was different from this one. Don't hesitate to have a look at the video about return from the flea market one. So maybe you are here because you already tried several solutions. Normally you should first try to unblock the sink. That's the first video. Then you can also unblock what is between the bond and the siphon. Or maybe you have tried abundantly this product which is supposed to help you. But I don't recommend you this product for two reasons. The first reason is that what you've seen in the adverts is not true. And secondly, as it's a very aggressive product, uh, it will make a big work for the wastewater treatment plants because for cleaning the water from this is really hard work. So now we're going to the ultimate solution, which is finally to dismantle everything. Two pieces of information before we start. This type of operation, you need to do it every 10 years. I've tested it in another house and indeed I changed the sink 10 years ago and after 10 years I had to do that. And the second information is that I'm sorry it will be a little bit long but this is also because I will provide the details about the IKEA sinks which are a little bit different than the classical sinks. Let's go! To start with a couple of words about the equipment, this is quite straightforward so I'll be using essentially the big screwdriver from the basic toolbox for uh, unscrewing the strainer or the sink drain. I don't know exactly the word, please leave it in comments in case you know how it's named. And then we'll be also using a little basin. This will be for making the big cleaning of the strainer or the sink drain. Here, uh, this sink is equipped with the doors. Uh, very often in modern kitchens you will find drawers, specifically for IKEA kitchens. So here you need to know how to remove uh, the drawer and that's what I'm showing you right now. So classical start, we are starting to remove this little tablet here. Okay. Then I'm adding the bucket for putting below the siphon. Very important, before you dismantle, I recommend you to take a picture so that you can find back the way it was placed. And we already start to undo the siphon. Now the issue we have is that this part here is totally blocked, probably filled in with uh, hairs or remains of, uh, of food. And as we'll be doing this one, we will take the opportunity also for doing this one. Well, rather simple, we'll be unscrewing this screw here and then we can remove the strainer. For IKEA sinks, you will have, let's say, the screw type of access here. And for opening, you can make the savings of the screwdriver. You can just take a coin and then insert it here. And then you can turn it around. Same thing for the bathroom sinks. I am taking this coin, inserting it here, and then I can turn opening in this direction. Better to hold the bottom. the disaster and we're undoing the other side
Okay, now everything here is loose and uh, we'll be cleaning everything in the very detail so that we have a certain margin of time that it doesn't happen again. In terms of plumbing, first reaction is also to be careful about the joints. I'm taking a, a paper tissue and this will enable us to clean this horrible part here. And there might be a joint. There's a joint. We won't forget that this joint was below. Same here joint is below. Now we're making the dishwashing of this horrible congested sink drain. Careful, it's super ugly. And you see here, this didn't fly at all. bit of vinegar very careful about all the rings you find In case your joints are old, manipulate them with a big care uh, and in the worst case, if they're broken, you have to replace them. And for not forgetting, I'm putting it back right now. Okay. Inside here, there's the screw path for the screw for putting the strainer. careful about the joints, there was one hidden 
below all the mud. So it's better to have a good cleaning because otherwise there's a risk of unwaterproofing your siphon. Okay, now the siphon part is uh, clean. Now we're trying to clean as much as we can the other pipes and then we can mount it back. So it's not always easy, so to take uh, the longest tools you can. Here, for instance, I'm taking a speed clamp and I will take the back here, which is quite long. So now it's rather okay. That's it, my friends. This is the end of the first video. So now you have seen everything about dismantling the system. And in the next video, I will show you how to mount it back again. So see you in a second on Happy Hour TV 1.